Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined as always by former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. This ought to be a fantastic watch me. Well, thank you, Derek. Well, you look at the host being such big favourites in this game. Just wonder how their opponents approach the game. I think the key to this is keep it really tight in the first 20 minutes. Try and frustrate those home fans. And then hopefully you can nick a goal here and there and take your opportunities. of the Champions League from the group stage to the knockout stages each has its own dynamic well it does I certainly get a little bit more excited when the knockout stages start I must admit but the uh, the group stage is an introduction to everybody to all the teams that are in the competition I think that's vital to get to know the players the teams how they play and then once the knockout stages start the real excitement for me kicks in well, here's the starting 11 for Porto it appears they're favouring a fairly conventional 4-4-2 lead. Yeah, it does look like a 4-4-2 setup, but it's not rigid, Derek. I do expect it to be a little bit more fluid than that, turning into maybe a diamond at times with a deep line defensive midfield player in there and a floating number 10. That means the two other midfield players have a quite narrow, which in turn puts great emphasis on the fullbacks to provide the width. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. This is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them, but it also gives you three supporting players to that centre. And that's an important intervention. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Alex Tellez has it. He's given it straight to the opposition. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, he's got amazing finishing ability. And when a player's got that, it means you have to go that extra yard tighter. And when you do that, you leave space behind you. So it puts the defender in two minds. Couldn't keep it. And slipped through beautifully. Tremendous intuition to win it back. An important interception. Marcano now. Tellez. Sergio Oliveira. Might be able to get in behind the defence. It's with Alex Tennis. It's all about translating threat into goals. He's got the score! And he's fired it against the post. One possession again. The ball with Pepe. The ball with Otavio. Well, great read there to intercept. The one thing he does know how to do is shield the ball. very deftly cut out now with Danilo Pereira 
Pepe. Diaz. Suarez. Possession changes hands. The interception there. And the cross goes in. What an opportunity it was to score the first goal of the match. Well, I'm not sure they'll get in that old game. It really is a bad miss. Far from a good pass. So I've really controlled possession, but that doesn't lead to goals necessarily. They haven't created enough. Too slow up front, midfield, very average. The coach, he's not happy at all. He wants more from this team. Musa Marega has it. Corona. Options around him. Targets to aim at. Foiling them effectively. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. And Suarez with it. The ball with Otavio. Danilo Pereira. They've given it away. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. might have potential and everyone in the center looking on as it sailed over them so the whistle then we're at the halfway stage in this match well he hasn't quite had the impact and attack that we were expecting Lee yeah well he just needs to introduce himself to the keeper he's not been near him all day long really needs to up his work rate he really does try and get his team an advantage it was to score the first goal of the match well i'm not sure to get a better chance than that old game And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Run it magnificently and intercepted. Corona. Marega. Sergio Oliveira. The ball with Otavio. Cross towards that far post. Thumped clear. It's with Alex Tellez. And on the ball, Sergio Oliveira. Otavio now. Musa Marega has it. Marega. And scope for the cross. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. So the corner played into the box. It hasn't come to very much. Now with Danilo Pereira. Pepe. Sergio Oliveira. Having to pass the ball, but remaining patient. 
Can they get themselves in front here? Terrific reflex action. Yeah, you've just got to come out and spread yourself and hope for the best. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. And firing it into the area. Well, not quite. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Marcano now. Now with Danilo Pereira. Otavio now. By no means on his own here. Corona. Otavio. That's well blocked. It's the high pressure, high intensity approach. Into the advanced position. He must finish. Now oh, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. He's driven in the corner. Not all that convincing defensively. And it can be a hit or a miss when it comes to striking it on the volley. Yeah, you always take a risk when it comes in like that, but he took a chance, he was brave. Just not his day on that occasion. Well, Derek, you can sense the frustration growing from the fans. That leads on to the players being frustrated too. You can sense it. Can they get the goal? It's with Zay Luis. Nakajima. Might be able to set up the chance. Arega. It's opening up for them. Oliveira. Just drifted into the illegal position. Offside, in the opinion of the officials. Merzliak. Lazar. And providing width. Crossed into the penalty area. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. A case of foiling the opposition by whatever means. Otavio. And now Danilo Pereira. times they make passing look easy the ball with Pepe Otavio very comfortable when in possession oh it's a penalty and what an opportunity for them perhaps to win it Well, that could be his final rebuke, I think, and the referee's making that absolutely clear. So I like that, Derek. Good refereeing. Nice and strong, told the player exactly what he was thinking. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Just wanted to get it out of there. For and only two minutes remaining here. Teles. Otavio. Trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. It's with Danilo Pereira. And on the ball, Sergio Oliveira. Otavio. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And there's the referee's whistle. These two sides cannot be separated.